morning year two. Thank you ever so much for sending in all your work yesterday. It was great to see and it really cheered us up. So here we are with our next instalment. Following on from yesterday, we're gonna carry on with our monsters on the marshmallow film. Enjoy. So your job for today is quite similar to yesterday, but we want you to use your imagination. So you're going to draw your own monster that you think could go in the video. So you might choose some different animal parts, um, you might think of different ways to draw his ears and his feet and his hands and his arms. You might add a tail, you might have spikes, spots, stripes, it's up to you. Then, same as yesterday, you're going to use adjectives to describe what your monster looks like and you're going to write them on the outside. Then, as we're in year two now, we're going to do a little bit of reflection and think about the adjectives that we've used and decide if they're powerful enough. So I'm just looking I think piercing's a very good one, and withered for his fingers, but maybe the word small is a bit boring, so I'm gonna cross that one out. I think tiny would be better, that's a bit more powerful. Um, and then I'm looking, and big is a bit boring, so I'm gonna say, he's got an enormous neck, rather than a big neck. And I've also just spotted that I've used big twice. So I'm going to try and think of another word that means the same as big, but that's a bit hard now. So I'm going to ask my friend Mrs Power. Mrs Power, could you go on Google, please? Certainly. And I look for words that mean the same as big. Okay, so words that mean big. Oh, up here. It says big and it says we could use large or oh, there's huge immense colossal oh that's a nice one massive mammoth oh his actually his legs are a bit like mammoth's legs and they're mammoth in size so i might use the word mammoth so that's m Right, I'm really happy with those words now. I'm just going to check my spelling now. They all look okay, apart from mammoth. That says mammoth, not mammoth. And now I'm looking at the screen. I can see that it doesn't have that U in it. So make sure you also check your spelling. So checking for powerful adjectives and checking your spelling. Here are some cartoon pictures of monsters to give you some ideas of a monster that you could draw on your piece of paper. I hope you find it helpful. So your final job today is to write some adjectives on the inside of your monster to describe the way it acts. Okay, don't forget to use powerful adjectives and don't forget to check your spelling. If you want an extra job, you could read all your adjectives to somebody else at home or just read them to yourself and choose your favourite ones. So I'm going to choose piercing for my one for the outside, how it looks, and I'm going to choose untidy because I think that's a really powerful adjective to describe how he acts. Don't forget to send in all your ideas to our year two email. We can't wait to see them.